allies. Friends and I are allies. What's up, you two? <sighs> okay, so this is gonna be on my uh, five top favorite gaming consoles or systems, as you can say. Um, I'm just gonna go through each console that I that I like my top five. I'm gonna show some of the some of the best games that I like, and the re and I'm just gonna go through as to why I like the consoles. Um, these consoles are in no particular order, except for the first, except for like my favorite one. There is a favorite, but the other four in no particular order. I just like them pretty much the same as all of them. So, um, I guess the first one I'll show you. Well, I'll just talk about the PS One. Um, I would show you the console, but I have to dig deep to really grab that sucker out. It's like really under there, all the boxes and stuff. But um, uh, yeah, the first one is PS1. Um, reason why I like this game, or not the game, the console. I mean, what is there not to like about it? <laughs> has like almost every genre of games ever. It probably has the biggest library of any console. Um, I mean, you can go into details such as like the controller was probably one of the best controllers ever. The D-pad was the best. I feel, um, you know, like I said, it had RPGs, fighting games, puzzle games, action adventure. They had everything. Um, you know, and so it was one. It was actually the first CD-based system I ever had. Um, I, I got it when I was twelve. First game I ever played was like Battery to Shinden Two. Uh, Resident Evil, Twisted Metal 2, just the game, the system, I'm sorry, in my opinion, I think PS1 is, I'm going to say the best console, it's not my favorite console, but I, I honestly think if you compare every console into what they've done, you know, what they've done to the market, the popularity, the games, everything, I'm, I'm going to have to say PS1 was by far the best console, but it's not my favorite, so... I'm going to show you some games that I, I particularly like. Wipeout, racing game, I don't know. Techno music, trance, I like that giant, especially Wipeout 3. Um, introduced the whole Tekken series. It's a really good fighting, um, I don't know, really good fighting game. Well, this is just the first one. Um, I prefer 3, it had all of them. You know, then it had like quirky games like Super Puzzle Fighter 2, which I really enjoyed. Um, Wild Nine, which is like an action game, it's actually kind of funny. It's it's really this is a really good game. I, I, <laughs> it's different. Um, then you know they had the whole Tomb Raider series, which like became real popular. And then they whole had the whole Metal Gear series, which once again pretty much made it more popular than the NES could have done. Uh, of course, Final Fantasy VII, probably the most popular, biggest RPG ever. Um, Bloody Roar, just a regular fighting game. I thought this was really cool. It was a really good game. Uh, Twisted Metal 2. This is the best Twisted Metal. Like, this game is sick. Like, car combat, this, this is as good as it gets right here. It's one of the first games I ever played. Crash Bandicoot, once again, you know, this was one of those 3D platforming games, action games that just, like, was just awesome. You know, this is a really good game. And the last one is just, you know, just another Bushido Blade. You know, just a Samurai, Sword, Katana type of game, so. Yeah, those are the PS1 games that, that I really enjoy. I mean, there's there's tons more, you know. I got I got a whole bunch more, like, Jackie Chang, Stump Master, I don't know. But I just want to show you just a few. I don't want to make this video too long. So, PS1. One of my top five favorite consoles. Um, next console. Um, you know, I'll, I pretty much i have talked about this console a lot. It's a Dreamcast. Dreamcast. I just, you know, when this game, when this console was right before its release, you know, it was marketed really well and it was really hyped. And I fell into the hype like I really loved it. And I, it actually broke records when it first released. Like it, it was really a good console, and I still think it's really good. You know, it had the online capabilities, which another console really never had. Um, the graphics were awesome. First, 128 bit system. Uh, it was just colorful games, man. The games were arcadeish. Let me just show you some of my favorite games. That I, I don't know. I just picked out of my collection. I actually own every G U.S. release Dreamcast title. So, 
Gumber 2, you know, it's like a, what do you call them, a shmup, this is, this is a really cool game. And you got, you know, random games like Cannon Spike, which is like Capcom characters, but in like Contra format. Um, Sonic Adventure 2, which I believe is actually better than Sonic Adventure 1. I, I don't know what the big thing is with uh, the first one, but this one's way better. You know, they got fighting games, Street Fighter Third Strike. Um, my favorite fighting game, well, not my favorite fighting game, but I, I think it's one of the best fighting games. Is Project Justice this game's awesome. Another kind of like Smash Brothers type of game, Power Stone 2. Capcom just... They made some good games for Dreamcast, and then I think probably one of my favorite games ever on the Dreamcast is Jack Ryan Radio. This game is awesome. This is like the first cell shading game I've ever seen. It might just be the first cell shading game ever. It's rollerblading, graffiti. This game is awesome. Um, I was going to get Marvel's Capcom 2. It's, it's up there on the shelf, but I just want to show you that. And what I think about the Dreamcast, Dreamcast is just awesome, man. I remember my, my friend bought it the day it released, um, 9 nine ninety nine September 9th. Of 1999, my friend bought it, and he kept bringing it over. I didn't have one. I just want to keep borrowing it, borrowing it, and just... Dreamcast is just sick, dude. It's just... I, I feel like Dreamcast is, like, the last really good, like, arcade type of console. Like, a system. After that, like, these systems are just becoming computers and crap. I just... Uh, I don't like it. So, having said that, um... Next console. The third one. I'm gonna have to go with... This might surprise you guys. The Sega Saturn. Um, I just like the games for the Saturn, man. I mean, this console did horribly. I mean, it did real bad. Like, not too many people even know what the fuck a Saturn is. Unless you're uh, obviously a collector. But, to like regular gamers or people that grew up back, even back in the days don't even know what the fuck a Saturn is. So, I don't know, man. I remember going to Toys R Us and, you know, you could, you could play like a Super Nintendo. You could play a Genesis. Even, you know, I would always play the Saturn. I was, you know, I played Fighters Mega Mix or Bug or whatever they had. I just thought the Saturn was just so cool, dude. I just remember the commercials. I, I just thought it was awesome. So I just want to show you some games that I like from from my collection. Um, Astol. No logo on the side, but you know, this is this is like one of those like. It looks like a 16-bit type of like side scroller. You know, that's the thing about the Saturn. Like the their pixels are. Their graphics just look better when it was 2D, you know. Um, so I got that, and you know, Bug. Me and my friend always talked about Bug. My friend would always go to like Toys R Us and some other retailers and play Bug. So that was pretty cool. Um, like I mentioned, Fighters Mega Mix. I thought this was really cool. Where they just got like a whole rack of just Sega fighting games and put them together, you know. So I thought that was awesome. Then you know they got 2D fighting games, Children of the Atom. I love this game. Um, one of my favorite games for the Saturn is Knights. Uh, when I was in high school, a freshman in high school, I, I got my Saturn, I bought my Saturn from uh, a, a kid that just moved in the neighborhood. He was selling the Saturn for like 40 bucks with 20 games. Because he was saving up for a PS1. I already had a PS1, so I wanted the Saturn real bad. So um, I found... I. Blockbuster was getting rid of all their Saturn games at the time, and I bought every Saturn game I could buy at Blockbuster, and I got this one for 99 cents. And, like, for, I swear, man, for, like, a good two weeks, every day after school, I could only just beat this game from beginning to end, because I didn't even have a memory card. Just, I don't know, I just love this game, dude. Especially the music. Like, this game is awesome. Um, Clockwork Night, another side-scroller, but kind of more like, uh, looks claymated, looks, graphics are a little better, it's not 2D or anything. Um, Three Dirty Dwarfs, probably one of my favorite beat 'em ups of all time. This game is, this game is awesome. Graphics are awesome. This game is just sick, man. If, if you have a Saturn and you've never played this, I suggest you get this game. You will not be disappointed. This game is dope. And last one I'm gonna show you is Virtual On. I had a demo of this before I even bought this game, and I just loved it. it was, you know, just robots fighting and stuff. So, but games like that, man. Saturn has tons and tons of games. I just love. And, you know, I'm not a big RPG fan, but, you know, I hear their RPGs are awesome, and their RPGs are really expensive, so, but yeah, that, that console has a lot of rare games, a lot of expensive games, um, a lot of the games that I really want, I don't have, so, but yeah, that's my third, I, I really like the Saturn, Saturn is awesome. Fourth console, 
the NES. Uh, let's see. Yep, I got the uh, original one that I've had since. I can't even remember when I bought this. It was one of my well, actually, my aunt gave it to us um, as a gift back in the '80s, late. I said, I think we got, I think we got it back in like '87 or '88. It doesn't work anymore. The pins are just. I gotta change the pin thing, but. So, for the past, I'd say, 15 years, I've been using this. Um, my friend got this back in Toys R Us back in, like, I don't know, 96 or something. Um, and I bought this from him back in 1997 for, like, 50 bucks. And the reason why I bought it is because my Nintendo didn't work. And this was the only one that works. Like, this one works, like, real good. Like, you don't gotta blow on the cards or anything, so... This is like the newer model. I've had, I've had this for 15 years, dude. 50 bucks, yeah. Supposedly this is like rare. This is like people really want this one, but I don't have the controller. I don't have the controller type. I really hated the controllers for this one. But, um, dude, Nintendo was the first console I think I've ever played. It was the first console I owned. Um, I remember going to the rental store, renting, renting Ninja Turtles 1, Ninja Turtles 2, Rescue Rangers... Battle Toads, like all as a kid, that was like the system I always ran, like on the weekend and play them out. And yeah, I was like, that's when I was really little. So let me show you some of my favorite games for the NES that I own. Bobble Bobble, always rent this as a kid. This this is one of the most nostalgic games for me for the NES. Bobble Bobble, um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This is one of my favorite NES games of all time. Like, I pretty much mastered this game. This game is real dope. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Yeah, I just love the cover of this. This is sick. My friend had this back in the day. He lived across the street. And I always wanted to go to his house and play this. Um, Mega Man 2. Uh, not just Mega Man 2, like any Mega Man. Like Mega Man 1 through 6. It's, it's dope. Um, little random games like Mighty Final Fight, which is fun as hell. Um, this is probably my favorite NES game. Double Dragon 2, my favorite of all time. This game is just so fun. I can play this game anytime, anywhere. Like um, G.I. Joe, really cool game. And the last one I'll show you is uh, Ninja Turtles 3, Manhattan Project. Um, I got, I bought this. I cried my ass off for this game uh, back in like 90, 91 or early of 92. We, uh, my parents and I, we went to the mall and I, I looked inside the KB Toys and this was behind the shelf. Like I'd never seen this one. You know, I love Ninja Turtles 2 and I saw this and I really wanted it and I cried my ass. So I started crying in the store just so my parents would buy this shit and they bought it for me. <laughs> it's the first and only time I ever did that. So, and I still got it. Uh, this isn't the original box. I still have the original card. But, yeah. This game is dope. So, the NES, man. NES is just... It has tons of shitty games, but it has a lot of really good games. It's just the most nostalgic for me. I just, I just love the NES. It, like, paved the way for, like, pretty much what games are, you know, today, so... And the last one I want to show you is... Actually, this is my favorite console. My favorite. And it's probably because I, I just think it's the best, like... Like, I think the graphics are awesome, the sound is awesome, the games are awesome, the controller is awesome, just everything about the game. And the thing is, I grew up with it the most. Like, it was the console, I'd say, like, pretty much, you know, from beginning to end, for when it first gave birth, back in, like, 91, 92, till it died. Like, that is the Super Nintendo. The piss yellow Super Nintendo, all dirty as shit. Um, one thing I want to mention... People always talk about how, like, the PAL version and the Japanese version, the Super Famicons, how that design is, like, better. I think that design is the worst. There's nothing to that design. It's just, like, a rounded, like, almost oval-shaped box. Like, this is so much better. Purple, you know, got the purple sliding button, the eject button. You don't gotta, like, pull them out. Like, it's more boxed out. It has more ridges. Got I think this has more design to it than the freaking PAL version and the Japanese version. Like, those, those versions are ugly. Those are just so plain. It's not even funny. So, Super Nintendo, man. Like, love it. Love the Super Nintendo. I remember I sleepovers with my friends, writing games, and just...
everything, man. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite that I own. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2. Actually, I think I got this on like release day. Um, I still have it. This game is. This game cost me 60 bucks back in the day. Um, of course, everybody's favorite Super Mario All Star. Another game I got on release day. <laughs> like I still own it. I still got it. Me and my sister went to the Toys R Us and we got it on release day, man. Um, Super Double Dragon, love Double Dragon, beat 'em ups, you know. Um, just another pretty much action beat 'em up. Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, pretty cool game. Um, Donkey Kong Country, of course. One, two, three. Um, I got this for Christmas of '94. And just the last one I'll show you. Is, I remember just all, all time favorite games, dude. Like just. I remember my friend always running this. My friend loved this game. He always ran it and go, like, yo man, you trying to sleep over tonight? I'm like, alright, cool, yeah, like, cause he would always run games on the weekend. Like, what game do you run? Rent Contra. And I'm like, Contra 3 again, dude? Like, we beat this game. Like, I don't care, man. This game's so awesome. This game is sick. One of the best games on the Super Nintendo. Sick! I just wanna thank my collection 7000 for actually giving me this. Like, this game is dope, man. I appreciate it. But I mean, there's other good games like Battletoads and Battle Maniacs and, I don't know, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. And I have them all up here, which you can't see, but you know what I mean. But those are just my top five favorite consoles, systems, yeah. So Super Nintendo is my favorite system. The other, the other consoles, no particular order. I love them all the same. Those are my top five. If I had to pick a six favorite console... Honestly, man, this is going to really shock you. If I had to pick a six favorite console, it would probably be the 360. <laughs> as much as I hate that downloadable bullshit, all that breaking shit, the games, the games are good. Like, I'm not into that buying that download pack bullshit. I buy games that you don't need to buy that shit, but the games, the action games, the games you don't need that shit for, good games. 360, good games, dude. That's probably my sixth favorite. I'm not going to lie. I, I try to think about what other favorite consoles, you know, you know, the Genesis is okay, and yeah, Xbox is okay, and GameCube, I don't know, Turbo Graphics 16 is cool, but I have to say 360 is my sixth favorite, just throw that out there, but anyways guys, once again, I appreciate you guys watching, keep watching, thanks for the support, peace!